Take a look, folks. Here is the tail of the tape between these two. You can see that Nuri Char, a lot more experience. This is the co-main event of the undercard here at Mixed Fight Championship 27. Representing Turkey, Nuri Kachar. Long time fighter here in Mixed Fight Championship, Nuri Kachar has had eight fights in his career take place in Mixed Fight Championship. This crowd knows him, they love him, they respect him. And even though his record is three and five overall here in Mixed Fight Championship, don't let that fool you. Nuri Kachar, very experienced fighter for his age. He's had his ups and his downs in this promotion, but overall, his record is still very strong. 21 wins, 10 losses, and so a very dangerous competitor each and every time he steps in the ring. The following bout is scheduled for three rounds of K-1 Rules kickboxing action in the 70 kilogram division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 170 centimeters and weighed in at 69.1 kilograms. His record, three victories, almost at a single defeat, representing Germany, Joshua Leichner. His opponent fights out of the red corner. He stands 180 centimeters. His official weight, 69.4 kilograms. His record, 21 victories, opposite 10 defeats, with seven wins via knockout. Representing Turkey, Nuri Kachar. Your referee, Jurgen Leving. Leichner and Kachar, kickboxing rules at Mixed Fight Championship 27. 67 kilos is the weight limit. Leichner, the shorter fighter, officially by 10 centimeters, but certainly getting off some very quick shots here in round one. Char doesn't look to be in that kind of a hurry, and certainly he can strike quickly as well. Good body kick there. The Char tries to block it. Nice exchange. You can see one of those body kicks certainly landed and is showing in the abdomen of Nuri Kachar. Right hand lands by Leishner as well. Good low kick by Kachar and he backs out. He's got to find a way to use that reach advantage of his. So far Leishner has been so quick. Oh, he buries the knee into the face of Kachar who acknowledges it. Leishner's so quick here in this opening round. Kachar went for it all with a powerful low kick. Didn't come up with it, though. 
cracking shot there by Kachar, just above the knee, I believe. Look at the midsection of Nuri Kachar is all red from a, a barrage of offensive strikes, including body kicks, push kicks, and punches downstairs. Leishner's done a very good job so far in this opening round of mixing up his offense. And I think Kachar has finally realized that he can't afford to be too relaxed in this opening round. Crowd chanting for Nuri. Boy, I think that Kachar really caught him in the head that time. And another cracking low kick that time by Kachar. All those low kicks are starting to catch up now with Leishner, who goes down. Leishner goes down in round one. Leishner wants to continue. Not a whole lot of time on the clock right now. Look at Kachar going in for the kill. The low kicks really starting to pay off here for Nuri Kachar. That one low kick that he got about halfway through the round above the knee that I mentioned, that was the beginning of the end. Whoa. Well, it's not over yet. Well, now it is. Is There was a moment there in that opening round, at, at the very beginning of the round, for the, about the first half of round number one, Kachar was in a different kind of a, a state of mind than he was in the second half. Something snapped, something clicked in the mind of Nuri Kachar, and he just decided, all right, you want to do it? Let's do it. And when he made that decision, when he made that concerted effort to step up his game and put his foot on the gas. That was very bad news for Joshua Leishner. So let's see now what in fact Leishner has left here in round number two. Has he been able to recuperate during the 60 second rest period? He was doing quite well in the first half of that opening round. He needs to go back to that game plan of his. Ho oh, ho, Kachar firing away with the right hand. How can you not admire the tenacity and the guts and the just the sheer desire to win and to fight and to compete here of Nuri Kachar? Like I said, he's had his ups and downs here in mixed fight. Nice. Well, that was a headlock, basically, by Leishner. But this crowd still solidly behind Nuri Kachar here. Ooh, nice shot there by Leishner. Caught an uppercut, though. He ran right into it. Whoa, did he hit the ring hard, and the ring did not give, and Leishner bounced off the canvas. Good body kick lands into the liver area of Kachar. There's the low kick again. I think Kachar needs to go back to the to the leg, back to the lead left leg of Leichner. That's what started Leichner's downfall in the opening round. Leichner's wise to it, trying to avoid that kick altogether. Doesn't even want to check it anymore. He just doesn't even want to feel it at all. Can't say I blame him one bit. I don't think he feels comfortable enough, though, to change his stance and fight from southpaw. That'll certainly make that left leg a more difficult target to hit. That kind of a looping, kind of an uppercut there from Kachar. There it is again. Very hard shot to predict and to block. 
Whoa! Oh, my! And now it's Kachar who's down! And he is wobbly! Kachar can barely even stand up straight right now. Boy, the tables have turned once again here. Ten seconds left. Oh, and we have got ourselves a fight. All of a sudden, we have got ourselves a fight. Boy, I thought for a moment there, there was absolutely no chance that Nuri Kachar was going to be able to finish the round. Just the look in his eyes and the way he was just kind of wobbling around the ring like that. Holy smoke. And Kachar was winning that round, too. But whatever happened in the, in the first round, it was the complete opposite for the other fighter in the second. And so as far as I'm concerned, it's even Steven right now. Whoever wins this third round is going to win it all. So Kachar down in round two. Leishner down in round number one. It all comes down to this right now. Certainly the confidence skyrocketing now of Yashua Leishner. Here we go. Ooh, good combo there by Leishner. Hit him hard in the body. Leishner avoids that kick. I think Kachar is still trying to shake some of those cobwebs loose. He just doesn't seem into it right now. He's a step behind. Oh, caught a shot in the chin now. Oh, my, Kachar now taking some damage. Leishner lighting him up like a Christmas tree. Kachar trying to hold on, trying to grab a hold of something, anything, to try to keep his balance in there. Hard knee now. There's a nice move by Kachar. Finally hit him with a right and then tried to back out of the way before he could counter. But he is still wobbly. He is still very wobbly. Wait just a minute now. That one was certainly late. Nice jab lands. Good combo. Kachar is still in it here. Char just looks like he's got a few screws loose right now at this moment. Oh, my! What a shot! Oh, Kachar is losing his power here. Look at those punches and kicks. There's nothing behind him now at this point. Leishner is also exhausted in there, but you can see he's in a different frame of mind. He's, he's, he certainly knows that he's got control of this fight and his confidence is through the roof here. Inside 30 seconds, this crowd though, still solidly in support of Nuri Kachar. Trying to do what they can to urge him on here in the closing seconds of round number three. Man, this has been a brutal, oh, taxing round. Kachar. Went for a jumping knee, I believe. And he came up a little bit shaky. End of the fight. Wow. This is what Mixed Fight Championship is all about, folks. You have got to love this sport.
Take a look at this action. Kachar, the entire duration of round number three, you could tell he, he never quite recovered from that knockdown. Both men optimistic here at their chances. Referee patiently awaiting for our ring announcer, Mike Markham, to make his way into the ring, which he has. And we will get the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by split decision from the blue corner, Yashua Leishner. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that Leishner, he just had the better third round. Both men were knocked down in the fight. It was back and forth. Somehow, the tenacity and the sheer will and drive to succeed was enough for Joshua Leishner.